The International Labour Organization launched the World Day Against Child Labour in 2002 to focus attention on the global extent of child labour and the action as well as efforts needed to eliminate it. That is why June the 12th of every year is set aside as World Day Against Child Labour. It helps bring together governments, employers and workers' organizations, civil society, as well as millions of people from around the world to highlight the plight of child laborers and what can be done to help them. And for more perspective on this, we have joining us via Skype, Human Security Manager, Action Aids, Benro Olajui. Thank you for your time on TVC News R. Now, the theme of this year focuses on how to help child laborers in crisis and, of course, uh, uh, areas that are affected by one problem or another. Uh, has the world done enough really to protect children? Yeah, the world has not done enough to protect children from what we have seen across the globe. From Africa to uh, Asia to Europe, there is no concerted effort. I, I mean global mobilization against uh, abuse of children here. Yeah? And uh, of course, we should equally understand the condition of children. These are people who have no, who cannot take moral decision. They depend on adults for a lot of things. And of course, adults are not supporting them to achieve a, what can go as a shy development, normal shy development. And it's particularly horrendous in Africa. If you look at what the African child is going through, uh, even in condition of peace, uh, you see a lot of them uh, engaging in, in activities that are inimical to their development, uh, particularly in Nigeria. You can see this across during school hours, while our children are engaging in uh, forced activities like along a dangerous, uh, uh, along dangerous paths on highways. You see them in marketplaces where they are not supposed to be. You see them. And horrendously, too, you can see them taking a serious piece in the context of armed conflict. Particularly, you can identify the role of, first role of children in what is going on in the northeastern part of the country, where you have a bomb stripes around them to cause a damage to others and to themselves. Right. You will agree that since 2002, when the World Day Against Child Labour was launched. There hasn't been enough done, just as you agreed. As a matter of fact, child labour has been on the increase. Now, why do you think there hasn't been enough or stronger resolve on the part of, I mean, global stronger resolve to ensure that this is eliminated? Yeah, I think uh, when you have government that is outrightly irresponsible across uh, the African country, uh, so selfish and concentrate attention is not given to children. You can even see this in respect of uh, the number of out of children, uh, out of school children in Nigeria alone, which uh, is over 10 million Nigerian children of school age who are on the street. And of course, uh, classically, you find out the situation violence campaign that is going on there. Uh, but let me reiterate this, that violence should not be an uh, issue of defense when it comes to child development. Because in the context of even severe harm conflict, you have, found you, you have to find space for children, for uh, a, a space for child development, which we have not taken care of in Nigeria. But let me equally emphasize the fact that over 10 million children who are out of school, I'm even talking of in condition of peace, not even in condition of violence. So a lot of damage is being done to development of uh, uh, the Nigerian child and invariably the African child. And of course, we have the consequence for that. Uh, because uh, if you take care of the children, especially in our space, yeah, what you are inevitably doing is leaving everything in reservation for future work. All right. Let me quickly ask you, uh, what strategies now should be adopted by first uh, the government and then individuals to help limit child labor? 
Uh, of course, there must be one. We must uh, come together on the terms of what uh, child labor is in Africa. Uh, in Africa, in uh, African child rights, uh, it does not only impose uh, rights on children, it imposes responsibility on them. But then the line between responsibility of children must be drawn in Africa. And when it's been exceeded, we should know that this one constitutes uh, uh, child labor. But there is no boundary between that because we feel that historically we are supporting our parents in their economic activities. African child rights is not against this, but it's a, when, a child, when it, it transcended to a level where that activity that the child is engaging is, in, uh, is uh, uh, impeding on his development, uh, is uh, denying him opportunity for self-actualization, access, and of course, attendance in school, then we should be uh, we should all know that it's a serious uh, issue that we should face but one of the things that we did that could be done quickly is to ensure that uh, uh, these children are in school you, we have a situation where you have a universal basic education but the law is not enforced you all still right. have a lot of children uh, out of school uh, that's one strategy that the government has played is play right. parents to allow their children to perform roles that are not meant for their ages all right all right uh, human security manager action aids benro olaju we thank you very much indeed for coming to share your thoughts with us it's a pleasure